Hi, in this episode, we are going to look at lexical scoping in JavaScript. So lexical scoping is uh, a fancy name and sometimes some people get uh, quite confused about it. So we will uh, start with an example. Okay, so here we have a standard function, variable vehicle, and vehicle is car at this time. Okay, and if we do console.log of the vehicle, we see lab if we run the code we see car no big deal okay now in in javascript we have nested level of uh, scoping so what it means is that uh, oh sorry it has uh, javascript we have function level of scoping and the functions also support nesting so what it means is that the scope of the variable vehicle is limited to this function lab and if you start a new function, bus, and here if we declare another vehicle called bus, then this is an entirely different uh, uh, variable. And the scope of this variable is up to just this, uh, this function. So right now we have two functions, bus and vehicle. And if we invoke bus, then let's run it. So we get car and the bus. Uh, so in this case, what is happening is that we have a nested function and, and the scope of a variable is limited to that function. Uh, so this is the uh, the most standard and the easiest to understand case because this function is looking for the variable vehicle and it finds that variable right then and there in the same function so this is good however the complexity starts when um, the variable vehicle is is taken off of the function bus so now the now that variable vehicle is no longer there so now if this inner function is looking for the function is looking for the variable vehicle that since it's not able to find it in the inner function inner scope it will go outer scope so one quick way of looking at it is something like this so uh, we will put a box around each function so this is the first function and this is the second function so this is the uh, inner scope of uh, the function bus and when the vehicle is uh, needs to be printed the, the, when the javascript runtime starts looking for the vehicle it is it looks for the function inside the function bus first and it doesn't find it and then it looks outer side and it finds it and then it prints the value car okay so in this case, so what is uh, lexical scoping? So lexical scoping means that this, this, the state of this code, the code that we are looking at, this code is not going to change on runtime. And this might seem confusing because it is possible to change the code on runtime. And we will see at a few examples. But right now, if this is the state of the uh, code, then when we are running the function, then at when the function, when we execute the function bus, the JavaScript runtime already knows that, hey, uh, there is no need to look inside this function because this function does not have the variable vehicle. And how does Java runtime knows it? It knows because during the compile time, it did not see that vehicle variable here. And so lexical scoping is nothing else but the but is also called compile time scoping or author time com, uh, scoping uh, basically lexic lexing is a process of uh, breaking the code into smaller tokens and then after that lexing is done uh, which is a part of the compile uh, whole compile uh, theory and compiler process so one way of saying the lexical scoping is the same as the author uh, time scoping or compile time scoping what it basically means is that what the way you see the code that's the how it will be executed 
at the time of the compilation if the code is like this then this is how the code will be what it once the other way of saying the, the thing is that during the compile time the javascript runtime did not find any variable called vehicle in the bus function so it can do all the optimization that hey next time anyone looks for the for the variable vehicle inside bus i'm not even going to ask for that function i'm just going to say that hey let's go to the outer function outer scope and then ask it so that's exactly what uh, lexical scoping is what it means is that the the author time decision is the final decision and it cannot be changed lexical scoping is the most predominant way of scoping in any language whether it's a c ruby python java uh, c sharp they all use lexical scoping some academic uh, languages might they use dynamic type scoping and and there is a variation in there's a flag in the pearl that you can set which will also enable dynamic type scoping and we'll see an example of that in the next video that's it for this episode thank you for watching in the next episode we will carry on with our discussion on lexical scoping